Hey guys, it's your girl Danielle Lee. So excited to share my new show with you guys today, Chef Dee Dee. Today we are cooking spaghetti squash, a vegetarian meal with meat sauce. And thanks for tuning in. We have a special guest today, my cousin, Michael Lumberger, former veteran, graduate of Temple University. No, I didn't, no, I didn't, no, I didn't, no, I didn't graduate. Okay, he didn't graduate, but he did go to Temple, left, and he's a veteran one of my best friends and my second cousin, and I'm excited for him to be a part of this today. And before we start, and before I do anything, I like to take a shot. So you're gonna take your stuff. What is that, rum? Calico, Jack, Silver, Rum. No, I And so I'm gonna drink for Trent, of course, because I like Top Shelf. What does our little cousin say? Yeah, top Shelf. Top Shelf, okay. And so I'm gonna have a little bit of a trunk. Do you have enough in your glass? Yes, I do. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> All right, ready? And this is to, uh, who are we going to take a shot to? Fun. Fun, peace, happiness, love, and money, honey. Okay. I need a chaser. <laughs> We're gonna start making the squash and the benefits of spaghetti squash is it's a vegetable compared to when most people use regular noodles, which is high in carbs, not good for you. And what I like to promote, Beauty by Danielle Lease, is very healthy lifestyle, healthy diet. And so today we're gonna substitute the regular noodles for spaghetti squash, which is a vegetable, which is high in vitamin C, very, very good for you, and it's gonna cut everything in half. 155 grams of fat, which is equal to one cup of noodles. So today I'm gonna have Michael come over and cut the squash. Do it because dress on. We're gonna take the riblets and the seeds out of it because you wanna have it in there when you're eating it. Okay, so we're gonna scoop out the seeds and the riblets into the sink. This is like so important because you don't want all this shit in your, excuse me, language in your food. So just Scoop it out, you can use a spoon, whatever kind of utensil you have, nothing, really doesn't matter. You can kind of like use your hands to take it out. That one's perfect. Our oven's ready to go. Yeah, but you just want to get all that out because this is not supposed to be in there when you cook it. Okay, once you guys scoop everything out, all the riblets, all the seeds, you want to rinse it off real good. Make sure it's clean and ready for the next step. Okay, so the next step is after you take all the riblets out, all the seeds, you want to spray the pan. Make sure you do that because you don't want it to stick and you want it to come out nice, tender, and you know, just make sure you know how to do this part. So I would use butter pan. Oh, that's right, the damn table. Butter pan and a little bit of olive oil. I like to do both. I don't know why, but in my mind, it just makes things work out much easier. And then, Take the squash, stick it on here, and you want to salt and pepper it, which is really, really important. So take a little bit of salt. I don't know, I'm back in the day with it, so we just do a little bit of zhuzh, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? And make it cute and stuff. And then you want to take your salt, a little salt, but you know, or you can do it like they do it on TV, put a little in your hand and just, you know, some shit like that. Okay, so we'll do that. Boom. 
Then you want to take your olive oil, which is like so important, and you want to drizzle that on top of the spaghetti squash. So that comes on there. No special amount, just you know what I mean. And now that we have the oven, when you my son, are you gonna turn that oven on 400 for me, Chase? Four hundred. Good job. Thank you. I love you. Super so sweetie pie. Thank you. All right. Thank you, honey. Okay. And that's my son. This very good kid. Okay. And so you're gonna take the squash, stick it in the oven. Okay. So make sure you guys before you grab anything out of the oven, you want to put some mittens on your hands. These are like classic safeguard things and they're really cute and I like cute stuff. So we're gonna use this. It's all done. Really, really good. Okay, be careful. Okay, and it's all done. And that's the squash made vegetarian dish and it's the substitute for noodles. Okay, so I'm gonna put some gloves on because it's really, really hot. I don't wanna burn my hands and I don't wanna mess up my nails because I'm a full set. <laughs> and so what I'm gonna show you guys is what it actually looks like when you scrape the squash because it actually looks like noodles. So you pick up the squash like this, take a fork, and if you see, it's like spaghetti noodles in a form sort of idea. So that's the idea of the spaghetti squash. And you just put it on a plate and then you just top it with like your favorite sauce. And today we're gonna to top it with some meat sauce. If you are a vegetarian, then you don't have to add meat to your sauce, but I prefer meat because I need a little bit of weight on me because I have a very high metabolism. Okay, so we're gonna start preparing the sauce and my sous chef is gonna cut the onion. And so for my vegetarians out there, I just want you guys to know you don't have to add meat to your sauce, but I personally prefer meat. You can do turkey, ground meat, whatever you prefer, because turkey's a little more healthier, but I like real ground meat. Uh, I, I like to eat. <laughs> and so um, what he's gonna do is cut this onion because you need a half an onion and you wanna cut it very small, like not minced, but you want small little squares cut up to put mixed in with the ground meat. So Michael, cut that for me, please. So he cut his hand, right, so I'm gonna finish it off. You just wanna make sure you cut everything into like a small little square. It doesn't have to be perfect. You know what I mean? Just get it nice and small because you don't wanna taste big chunks of onion mixed in your sauce. You just want it for the flavoring. You know what I mean? So just get in there. This is a little ghetto, I guess, but you know, we're real over here. Does that make sense? And so keep cutting that onion up really, really small. And that's why I say to wear gloves, because if you do cut your finger like that, you don't want to have blood and stuff like that. And you got to be careful. So that's why I say when you get to things like this and you're using a sharp tool, you want to put you know your glove on because you don't want to cut yourself these knives are pretty sharp okay so now we're going to start on the sauce and when you guys make sauce you always want to first brown your ground meat so always use about a pound of ground meat so i already have it left it out this morning so it'll you know defrost and stuff like that so put in your pan boom okay so you guys want to brown your ground meat and you want to make sure it's pretty much all brown before you add the onions in and you got to season it too so what i do is i just like keep you know pushing it around turn it up a little bit higher so you can get it going and what you want to add is a little bit of garlic salt so important so put some garlic salt i do not measure i just know what i want stuff to be so just sprinkle a little bit of that a little bit of garlic powder, of course. Put a little bit of that on there. Also, I like minced onions. Put a little bit of that on there. And you want it to be flavorful, you know? And then you want a little bit of brown black pepper. Put that in there. And then you want to put a little bit of salt. Of 
course. it up because you got to keep mixing that's like key to this process so you want everything to be mixed together you want it to be flavorful and tasty and like I said if you're a vegetarian you do not have to add the ground meat you can just add the onions to the sauce and everything like this and this is a very quick easy meal something that'll last a couple days especially for us single moms because we're on the go we're busy and so a meal like this will last you a few days Okay, so keep letting it brown. She wants this to brown the whole way before you add your onions. And then I always put a little bit of a little bit of garlic in there. Let me get spin. So this is like real garlic. So you want to have the minced garlic, but just a tiny bit. Just give a little bit, just a little sun, something like that. See, I have it on about a little bit. So this is a gas stove, so it depends on if you have an electric stove, what you want to do, but pretty much medium. Gas cooks a little bit faster, so you kind of got to watch it. But if you have an electric stove, just put it on medium, on the meat. So it's nice and brown, a little bit longer. It takes about a good five minutes. Now once you see it's all brown like this, then you want to add in your onions. So now you're going to take your onions that you chopped up on the pan, bring them over, you're going to add them to the meat. So put those in there. Put your onions in. And now you want to keep browning it. So keep mixing. So this is kind of like before you add the sauce and everything in because you can make your own homemade sauce. I don't have time to do all that. So I just get the stuff that's pre-made in the bottle, add a little bit of sauce that's in a can, and boom, you're on your way. So like I said, keep browning this. You want to make sure the onions kind of caramelize a little bit because right now they're still white, so you have to cook a little bit longer. Okay, so... Once you get all this, you know, brown and where you want it to be and the onions caramelized, what I like to use is the Prego mushroom sauce. It's really, really good. It's already pre-made sauce. It's quick, it's easy, and I get things done quickly. So open that up. Pour that in there. There's a little bit of excess in the bottle, just a tiny bit of water. Take this, shake it up. Then you want to add in a can of, this is like fresh tomato sauce. You want to add this in. So we're going to open that up. And this is for moms on the go. You know, I got a son who runs track, and so I don't have time to be making no damn homemade sauce. Now, we might get there one day, but not today, honey. So we're going to take it out of that damn can, doctor it up. So you want to pour that in. With everything else, you want to mix it up real good. And so you want to leave this cook for probably 30, 40 minutes because you want it to get all the flavors in. And I'm going to add some more stuff again because I like to have it nice and seasoned. So a little more garlic salt. Get that in there. A little more pepper. Same things we did before. A little bit of those onions, a little bit of garlic salt, I mean garlic powder actually, sorry. And then also a little bit more garlic. I don't know, I like garlic, that's just me. Depends on what you like. A little bit of onion. And then here's the secret, I'll tell you. Now if you like sour shit, I don't know, because I don't like sour sauce. So I put sugar in my sauce, I'm not going to lie. So what you want to do, and the best sugar Dominant sugar, you take some of this, put it in, pour it in your sauce. All black people put sugar in their sauce. If you don't, you probably not black. And so put some of that in there, honey. And then you just mix that shit right on up. Fire, let it cook. I would say on medium, a little bit lower for about 30, 40 minutes. Put a top on it, and it's perfect. Okay guys, once you put your sugar in, all your ingredients, get everything mixed up. You wanna make sure you let it cook for about 30 to 45 minutes. 
depending on, you know, you're just basically warming it up because everything is done. Take this out, put the top on it, leave it on left, and then you're ready. Okay, and the last step, if you guys want a little kick to your sauce, because the meat just gives like a flavoring, I would say add hot sausage. And right here, we have hot sausages that I bought from Giant Eagle. You can get the five for 25, you can get five packs of meat for $25. And that's gonna save you some money, especially if you're a single mom on a budget. You know what I mean? These are important things that you can remember. So you wanna take a pan like this, fill it up with water, put these to the side. Uh-oh. I got it on my dress. Oh shit. I'm making a mess, you guys. I think I'll work at the end of the video, right? <laughs> <laughs> Take them out. This is why you shouldn't cook in this kind of dress, but I like to be fancy. So cover them, make sure they're completely covered. Put them on your eye. Okay, so the final step when it comes to the hot sauces is just make sure you put it in a pan, cover with water, and make sure it comes to a boil. Let it cook completely down until it's like almost gone. Brown it for like two seconds, and then that's it. And then you throw it in your sauce. Okay, so it's all done. You wanna scoop some out, put it in a bowl. So you can add it to, you know, the stuff that I showed you guys at the beginning, the spaghetti squash. So it's really, really good. This is Spaghetti Squash. I'm so excited for you guys to try it. And please tune in for our next video. Thank you, have a great day. Hey guys, it's Danielle Elise. Thanks for tuning into my video. Stay tuned for more videos to come. Hit the bell below and like and subscribe and leave comments for anything that you wanna see. Have a great day. Mmm, so good, so good.